What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment and in this video we are going to be going over how to set up your SCVs on a 2023 or newer John Deere 6R. Now if you're not familiar with the term SCV, this is simply your rear hydraulics and your hydraulics that go to your front end loader. SCV stands for selective control valve. It's some of that tractor jargon that we maybe just have never heard before but SCV is what you're going to see whenever we look over here on our right hand screen so that you can see our different outlets here. Now, on this machine here, this is going to be set up with four rear hydraulics and three mid hydraulics that go to our front end loader. So as we can see here on the screen, we have one, two, three, and four. And those are gonna match up with our switches over here on the right hand side. So if we go over here to the right hand side, we're going to see these rocker switches. Like I said, labeled one, two, three, and four. So these are going to match up with what we see on the screen. They're also gonna match up with what you see at the back. So if you go to the rear of the tractor, you're going to see back there, one, two, three, and four. Now our other three here that we show as 11, 12, and 13, those are gonna be for our front end loader. You can have settings that are going to be similar to these that we're gonna go over on one, two, three, and four, but they're gonna be a little bit different because they're for the loader. So mainly here, we're focusing on the rear. Now. First thing that we need to talk about are our switches. So if we go back over here to our right hand side, look at our switches. These are going to be five position switches. So what I mean by that is these switches are going to have five different functions, five different ways that you can use them. What you're going to have is you are going to have where you can pull back on one, you can push forward on it. That makes two functions. When you pull back, you can make it click that is going to be the third function, or you can push forward and make it click, and that's gonna be your fourth function. Or we can push forward and push even harder to where it stays down, and this is going to put that into float mode. Now, what all that means is, is that what you can do with this machine is a lot more complex than what you could do on maybe a smaller tractor. So if you are used to a five series and down in the John Deere machines, a lot of times what you're used to is just a mechanical SCV. So you're just gonna have a lever that you either push that lever forward and that's going to extend those cylinders or you're gonna pull that lever back and that's gonna contract those cylinders. Where on this, we are gonna be able to set this up multiple different ways and I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Now, we've gone over there how the switch positions work, how you get those to go where they need to go. Now let's talk about what that means and how we actually go about setting those up. Now luckily, over here on number three, we actually have something set up for number three. So back here, we have this rear top link here that is gonna be linked to number three. So if I raise back here on number three, that's actually gonna let that out. Then if I go back and I push forward, that is going to push that back down. You've got your extend and retract right there at the switch. Now, one thing that you can do is go in and adjust and change just about anything you would want to on these SCVs. So let's go ahead and jump into number three. Let's say whatever we were doing, as we know, we have that, that top link back there and we have it where we can raise it up and down. That's why I'm using it as the example. The first thing that you're going to see is you are going to see that you can change the amount of flow. Now it's gonna give it to you in an increment of five and we can change that incrementally, go all the way up to 10. We can use our scroll dial over here on the right hand side to be able to change that number or we can simply go over here and use the screen itself to change that number. However you wanna do it is up to you but you can change the flow rate of these SCVs. So there's actually gonna be a flow chart that comes in your operator manual. It's going to look something like this. So make sure that whichever machine you get, you are checking out this flow chart, making sure you know what size pump on this machine so that you know just about how many gallons per minute these SCVs are gonna be putting out so that you can adjust your flow rates to that number. Because depending on what we're doing, depending on the application, if we have something that's gonna be running on a constant flow, or if we're just gonna be folding out cylinders is gonna make a big difference. Going into that, if we are using something that we are going to have to have constant flow, what we can do next is we can go in here to time. Once we have our flow figured out, then we can go in here to time 
And if we see a C, that means that this is going to be in constant flow. So if we want to change that, if we need to back that down where we know that we have a certain time increment that we want flow to be going to this SCV, but only for a certain amount of time, we can dial this down once again here on the screen. Or we can go back over here to our scroll knob and we can use that. We're going to be in increments of 10, then increments of 2, then increments of 1, or we can take this all the way down to 1 second if we wanted or all the way back up to 180 before we get to that constant. To give you a good example of this, is I am going to run this down here to two seconds. Okay, and we are on our SCV number three, which is gonna be back here at the rear. Now, this is going to all tie in, now that we've shown how those five positions work, we've also shown how we can set our time and our flow now let's show by using this rear link how these are actually going to work so if we have this set at two seconds the flow on this really doesn't matter because we're not doing something that's going constant so we haven't changed it we've just left it there kind of at the mid level now we can talk about our up and down so i showed before how we can use the rocker just forward and backward but what if i want to use that click back or that click forward well, if I use that click back, that is going to raise for the amount of time that we have set here on our screen. So for two seconds, that is going to extend. Now, if I go ahead and click this forward, then that is going to retract for two seconds. Now, let's go back to our time here and dial this back down to one second. We're going to do that once again. We're going to click it backward. You can see the difference there, how it didn't go out near as far. Then I'm going to click it back forward and you can see it went down back just for that one second. So you can imagine with whatever implement that you have, whatever you're using, if you need that to be pushing that flow for a certain amount of time, like I said, you have those options here on your screen for up to 180 seconds. Or if we're running a pump off of one of these SCVs, maybe to a planner or to an air seeder, whatever those things are, then we have that to where we have that set to constant. So whenever we click that one into either the contract or extend, whether we're pulling that back and clicking it, or if we're pushing it forward and clicking it, it is going to stay constant. It's going to keep pushing fluid to that SCV until you turn it off. So for instance, if I pull back here on my third SCV, it's gonna run this out and it's gonna keep running it and I can actually hear in the tractor that's still trying to put flow. So how do I turn that off? I just push forward on my button and that is gonna turn off that continuous flow. Now you can also know if you've got your continuous flow on is whenever you pull back on that, you're going to see here on your screen that it's yellow. Everything's lit up here and it is yellow and it is constant. You can actually see that on your main screen here too. So if you want to turn that off, we're just going to push that forward and that is going to turn that off. Now, like we talked about before, also if we needed to say put this into float mode. So if we are going to have this machine hooked up to a plow and we want it to have a little bit of give on those wings and let those cylinders push back, get, have a little give to them, let that fluid flow back to the tractor if it needs to or flow more outwardly, what we can do is we can reach over to this button and we can push it all the way forward and down. And then what you're going to see is this little wavy line underneath our SCV button here. And this is also going to show up here on the screen. So it shows that number three is in float, shows number four has a clock set up for zero seconds, shows that number two is on constant and one is on constant and all of us are showing here to be at that mid-level on our flow. So lots of information to di digest, lots of customization that you can do with these SCVs to make sure that they are fitting your operation, but you've just got to know where to go to get the information and how to do these different setups. Now, one other thing that you can do with this that is really neat that I wanna make sure to point out is if we go back here to our number three, we can actually go a step further and make these independent. So what I mean by that is if we go here on our screen and we're gonna hit this little arrow up with the eye, this is gonna be our advanced settings. We can go here 
to SCV number three, which is the one that we have. We can turn it on, and this is gonna be independent mode. Okay, and then once we click out of this screen, now what we have is we have adjustability to where we can change the flow of it contracting, we can change the flow of it extending, and we can also change the time of both of those to where whenever you click that button forward, you know that it's gonna go down for a certain amount of time at a certain amount of flow, and whenever you click it backward, it's going to go the opposite direction in a different amount of flow and a different amount of time. Or you can have them set up the same, but you can set these up independently for whenever they are going in or going out. So this is a very nice setup. Once again, this is all gonna be application based, so you may not ever use this, but if you do have a certain application that you need it, it's good to know that it's there. So guys, that just goes to show that with these 6R tractors, you have so many different capabilities, so many different customizations that you can do on this machine. And you absolutely, if you're moving up into one of these machines, need to know where it's at. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you are looking for more videos like this or just more videos over John Deere equipment in general, make sure and check out the rest of the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.